Richard Naller last updated 5 o'clock the 21st of May 2018 Getty Images Te Toro Itahu Rio Rangi shifted from the Hurricanes to play his Super Rugby for the Chiefs this season. P-H-O-T-O-S-P-O-R-T back rower Akira Owain has been invited to join the All Blacks but not as an official member of the squad during the three-test series against France. Rugby 33 men have been officially named in the first All Black squad of the year. A new captain in Sam Whitelock, with Sam Kane and Ben Smith as his deputies. The cat might be out of the sack in terms of selection, but there is still plenty to discuss. When the All Blacks basket loose forwards is stacked. Blindside flanker Jerome Kano is finishing up, heading to France to add some punch to the Kiwi Saver account, and number 8 Kieran Reid is still recovering from spinal surgery. It's a good time for the selectors to plan for next year's World Cup and beyond. So now the gloves come off, as the task of impressing the coaches gets deadly serious. Sam Kane, BAEA Fafida, Shannon Frizzell, Artie Sevilla, Liam Squire, Jordan Taufua and Luke Whitelock are all on board. For the 2015 World Cup 6 loose forwards and just 3 locks were invited to travel. During that tournament Victor Vito, a back rower, proved a capable swingman on the bench, he also covered lock and proved very valuable as a leaper at the front of the lineout. It could be a strategy that is set to be repeated. Gone are the days when the All Blacks allowed the public or the media into trainings and that's a shame because things could get very feisty during the contact sessions. The competition for places could get red hot. Frizzell, Fafita, Taufu, Sevilla and Whitelock are in a fight to keep their jobs. Two Blues loose forward Akira Owain didn't make the squad but should still consider himself very fortunate. He won't be considered for the three tests, unless there is an injury. Clearly, the selectors don't believe his form warrants selection, yet they are not showing him some love just because they think he is a good bloke or enjoy his taste in fashion. The athletic, yet erratic, Owain has special projects stamped all over his file. 3. What happened to Julian Sevilla? Getting invited to the All Blacks, Foundation Days must have given the wing, who was left behind when the squad traveled to the Northern Hemisphere last year, the chance to briefly peer into the window of what once was. Now the shutters have dropped. He remains on the adder. Sevilla hasn't done enough to convince the selectors he should ram his way in the squad ahead of other wings such as Rico Owain, Nihi Milner Scudder, Waisaki Naholo and Ben Smith. Contracted to NZ Rugby until after the 2019 World Cup, Sevilla has some decisions to make. He can either stick it out in the hope he gets another chance, or seek an exit from a deal that is not taking him beyond Super Rugby. For there is always a hard luck story and it would be mindless to go through all of them. Ben Lamb, a teammate of Sevilla's at the Hurricanes, has reason to feel disappointed. What a destructive vessel of muscle and bone he is when close to the line. But if you are a rugby player in New Zealand and miss the All Blacks, you just have to take a ticket and stand in line. Add feedback lock Luke Romano has been cut, and fullback wing Israel Dag just hasn't had enough time to prove himself because of injuries. Last year Matt Todd appeared to have finally leapfrogged over Artie Sevilla as the second-ranked open-side flanker. Now he has dropped back in the chasing pack. Tough call, obviously. Now what does Todd do? He is in the final year of his contract with NZ Rugby so he has got options. If he fancies doing something new and taking his family on a fresh adventure, he might have a look at doing his OE somewhere in Europe or the likes. 
5 Pei Toro at Tahu Rio Rangi, Triple T to some, wins the race for the third halfback spot. His development will take time. It seems a bit odd to hear his name immediately thrust into a conversation where he is compared to Graham Bichop, but you can understand the point the selectors are trying to make. Tahu Rio Rangi has a swift pass and is quick. You also hope he is patient. He's not going to be knocking Aaron Smith or TJ Paranara off their perches anytime soon. Stuff.